Hello, hi guys. This is day seventy eight. So day seventy eight, and we're gonna continue fun exercise. And some great news. I've uploaded some my music video for my first EP, and also I've uploaded a uh, pending moderation of my first Chinese uh, experimental album single. So the song called uh, Dong Xing Pu Dong Xing. <laughs> I know it's a bit cheesy, but it's meant to be a bit of that eighties vibe cheesy kind of stuff. So anyway, let's get going. Okay. So hi. Okay, hi for whoever is viewing now. Thanks for the likes, the encouragement, and the love. So yeah, I have uploaded the music video and also uh, my first Chinese single, uh, which I sang. Not a great vocalist, but you know I edited it and stuff like that. So uh, it's pending uh, moderation. I sang it through a different um, music distributor this time. Hello, thanks for the like. Thank you, thank you. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Kamsahamida. So yeah, I saw distributor my music uh, this time uh, through a different uh, music distributor, and probably it's free, but they'll take a uh, twenty no, fifteen, fifteen percent cut. So I keep the eighty five percent if if there is anyone who stream and get any money from it, but it's very little. I can tell very little. So it's only a few cents seriously, even if someone's listen to it. But anyway, the, the important thing with this new dis music distributor is it actually sends through um, to Chinese market, Tencent, and so this being a Chinese album, you know, uh, singles, it makes sense, huh? So it actually sends through to the Asian uh, uh, various streaming um, services via Tencent and many others, KKBox and stuff like that, I think. Whereas my previous distributor, they do not allow Chinese music to be sent through iTunes and Apple Music in China so I, I'm not sure is it some agreement or was it like China's uh, maybe Apple does not allow us to distribute directly through that uh, for Chinese music so anyway so I use another distributor so let's see how it's pending moderation so if it does go through oh sorry you get the remote if it does go through it'll be like a small little gift for myself for my birthday tomorrow <laughs> Uh, that yay second album uh, uploaded and distributed uh, my Chinese single. Uh, 那个单曲专辑, 它的名字叫做, 动心不动心, I know, <laughs> 很熟悉, very cheesy, but it's meant to be like that. It's a uh, 80s, it reminds me of some 80s music, uh, so yeah. Anyway, so let's hopefully you can hear the uh, if it's approved and get distributed, I'll share the link with you guys uh, in this channel and stuff like that, hopefully you can <laughs> just support, uh, support my so called my creation just for fun of it, okay because um, I want to learn also how to create the music how to distribute music and stuff like that so far, it's been good these few days, I've been trying to create that music video so the first music video for my first EP album is out but it's very simple, it's just only a collection of some uh, stock uh, videos to my electronic music so check it out, it's called Orgasmic and yeah I know, it's almost like a clickbait ah wait I forgot, I have to skip this song because this song got a copyright strike this song got a copyright strike which means it will mute the video because that version is by the original singer and I got the a copyright strike a notice from Facebook yesterday or the day before when that music was playing it's called Mr. Blue Sky by Electro Electric Light Orchestra so yes, uh, social media be it because of Article 13 from in Europe where they, they become more strict about copyrights um, or generally all social media is just tightening up so music that is has copyright uh, they usually can monetize, right? If someone plays it on the video uh, As long as they're not like claiming that it's their own You know, so in a way if they hear it They get monetized, so all these art artists actually get money uh, No matter how little uh, When we play the song But some of the more major art, uh, singer or musician uh, Will not allow that So if it's played in your video It will be muted, that part of the song That song that was being played, so just now that song is one of those uh, Gundam Style by Sai, I think is also another one 
because I have played it before in my live video and it got muted that, that section. So whatever I say over it, it's gone. Anyway, so the A78. Yeah, still going strong. Have cycled so far. Uh, burned so far 25,308 calories. Traveled 794 kilometers, which is roughly 8 to 10 kilometers uh, per session. So I thought, wow, that's so, that feels like a lot to me. Anyway, uh, keeping at a tempo of 15 to 16 kilometers per hour, you know, and yes, continuing this 15 minutes of exercise. I think I started around 10. 10.50 So I think I should finish by about 11, 11.05 Let's go, let's go Thank you again, whoever is doing this Thank you, thank you so much Thank you Merci beaucoup Danke schön Obrigada this the eight or ten language in, it's say thank you that I know. Anyway, thanks. Uh, maybe just want to see a fat guy <laughs> exercise, shaking his belly or something. But yes, I have to lose the weight because of my back problem. So no choice for health, for health. So got to keep going. And today, what did I eat for lunch? Let me see. Uh, oh, I make laksa actually. So yes, that's all inside the shrimp paste and stuff like that. Not super keto, but definitely a lot of oil. May not be the best fats, but I can split it up that, oh, I can actually cook almost three to four, four serving. So I throw the whole thing in a small pot and end up, oh my God, it's so strong. Uh, it's a Sarawak laksa. So it's a very herbal taste. It's not the Singaporean type. And I did not put any coconut milk. So it's actually very herbal, spicy, kind of broth. Like a curry noodle, I guess. Uh, I use vermicelli this time. So not normal noodles, just vermicelli like bihun uh, for the laksa, which is great. And of course, I put fresh vegetables. And on the side, what I have? Oh, I actually uh, baked some of my chapati. I had some ready-made chapati. Luckily, the carbohydrate is not crazy high, but still, yeah, I, mean, I ate two pieces of chapati with cheese or not. And yeah, that's it. So that's my lunch. Uh, I didn't overeat it. Uh, finishing that bowl, actually it's about three quarter full. Uh. The bowl is not like totally full, so it's not, I'm not overeating it. Uh, so far so good, thank you so much. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the support, thanks for the comments. Hope I, in turn, encourage you guys to also you know, stay healthy and keep fit. Um, and eat healthy, yeah. So like for plus 78 days, I've been on keto diet. Keto-ish I can't say it's fully, perfectly keto. I'm mean, still trying, I'm still learning. Like past few days, I've been eating a little bit too much of keto-friendly bread, which I made. So today I made another batch to test. I ran out of eggs, so I didn't put eggs this time. But then I put chia seeds. So chia seeds is good, but I soak it up. So the chia seeds become very gooey. So the whole bread becomes like a sticky, gooey kind of a pudding. So even after I bake it, it's still very wet, still very moist. So and I put quite a bit of whipping cream inside. So it turned out to be quite milky, buttery kind of a pudding that I baked today. So end up, I added some more coconut oil. I didn't put oil, I forgot. <laughs> after it, it, it baked a while, I put the oil and try to bake again. And I'm going to put it inside the fridge and let it like um, absorb. So see tomorrow how it turns out. Uh, and see if I could alter it further. Just like the other day, I was making keto bread. And after it condensed, uh, like overnight, right? Cool down. It became less fluffy and became quite dense. And ate like cake. Seriously, it ate like fruit cake. So pretty amazing, I thought. So, okay, I managed to make fruit cake then. <laughs> so that's quite cool. And it's keto friendly because I, I don't use wheat flour, so no gluten inside. But of course, there's still almond flour, and there's baking powder, which is gluten free type. But all this obviously has carbs. So when I make all this bread, I make it in small portion, or if it's a large 
portion, I'll cut just like one quarter of it and eat it as part of the dessert or for lunch or to soak up the curry, <laughs> depends what I'm cooking uh, and the rest, you know, I'll just continue eating for the next two or three days so again, there's portion control not that I... okay, partly yes, I deliberately want to control it because, you know, I'm not supposed to overeat uh, otherwise, all this goes to waste I mean, eating one meal a day then what's the point if you're eating like two, three meals in one meal, right? so, yeah Oops, it's on the aircon. It's very hot. I mean, I'm gonna turn it real low. It's pretty stifling here, man. Cause yeah, it's cold. I'm in the room. Cause I don't to, I don't to disturb my tenant next door. So I'll close the door and everything. Cause I'm playing music loud as well. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, roughly about 50 minutes into the fast exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This fast and I'll try to cycle this tempo. Shit! Wow, this tempo is like 21 to 22 kilometers per hour. No joke. High intensity. I'm a bit lethargic today though. I think I didn't sleep enough this morning. Woke up a bit early. Because I'm actually shooting time lapse of my neighborhood. Uh, the skies, the clouds, and the star trail at night. So some nights are like very clear, there's no cloud. So it's perfect for astronomy, photography, and I turn it into video. So it's just, you know, the interest of mine to shoot the night sky or to shoot the sky for clouds as the clouds float by. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not outside shooting. I set it up in the kitchen and shooting out the window. Actually, one of the reasons why I bought, I got this house is for the window. Uh, I'm at the highest floor, so I have a pretty good view. Nothing obstructing me when I look up to the sky. So it's got an open view, which is great. So that's the reason why I got this place, actually. And I paid for it, uh, yeah, it's not cheap. I paid maybe in excess of 10k for this house. Uh, all have to be paid back on loan. Singapore is not cheap, seriously. There's many things that you put on loan. Uh, it's my first big loan. I never had such a large loan before. Uh, not any loans actually. So, yeah, half of it paid up my CPF, totally wiped off. And then the other half is going to take 25 years. Yes, 25. 25 years time to pay off. So, yeah, I need to earn more quickly to pay off all the debt for the house. Uh, I don't have a car, I can't drive. Although I can dive, as in scuba diving, I have a license for it. Funny, right? <clears throat> and I can't ride a bicycle, seriously. I've never learned to ride a bicycle, but I can inline skate. <laughs> when I was young, I went to learn skating, so I could inline skate. Okay, it's not very, really fantastic. I don't have like mad skills. I could do some tricks uh, in the past. <laughs> now that I'm much better, I don't think so I can balance that well. Also partly because of my split disc and surgery, I've, uh, ever since uh, my balance is not that great, it does affect my leg and the nerves. Oh my god, this is a fast song. So, yeah man. Uh, so that's the strange thing about me. I can't ride bicycle, but I can inline skate. I can't drive a car, but I can scuba dive. <laughs> and I can't swim very well either, seriously. But I still went to dive. That's why I've got the life jacket and I can go underwater. I'm actually comfortable. So, I guess I like to explore and be adventurous. Haven't done bungee jumping or skydiving. Maybe when, when my health gets better and I'm thinner, it's safer to do that. So someday, man. And of course, financially, you've got to be there first. Ah. You know, you have to travel to beautiful countries and skydive. It's all money, money, money. And it's interesting, the other day, I was selling off a Bluetooth uh, headset uh, year, year back, and then the guy who's buying it, he's a skydiving instructor. So he actually does it in uh, three locations in Australia. So I thought, wow, that's cool. So he spoke to me about skydiving and stuff. And recently, my friend, uh, ex colleague, went to Europe, I think, yes, and skydive as well. So good for him, man. At least, you know, when you're young, uh, try all the things that you want before you get older 
and you have less energy and time uh, to do it. So yeah, live life to the max. Just like now, like now, uh, after I quit my job last November, these few months I've been like learning on my own and hopefully trying to start a business somehow. And still a learning journey caused so much to realize I to set up and the strategies and stuff. And along the way, like I said, I'm still creating my music album and I don't know, doing some things creative on the side as well. So yeah, I might I might need you guys to help in one of the music videos because I'm thinking of shooting this. Uh, it's a venting song, uh, the song that needs to vent. You know, like you're ranting about like, ah, uh, all my things are mine, it's not yours. Like stop taking my things and stuff like that. So basically, I created a song around that idea. It's a Chinese song, it's called Water. It's like mine. So the whole song goes water, water, and then I kind of rap a little bit over it. I would say I, would say I rap very well, I'll just sing over it. Lah. So I was thinking, maybe I will ask friends online to contribute a few seconds to show them what's theirs, you know, just to point to themselves, what's mine, what's mine. And I will make it to a compilation. This is just for fun, it's not really for earning anything. Uh, into my next music video. So let's try it. Okay, so I, I will probably post it either tomorrow or something. Uh, demo. Uh, my song inside, but with just me acting inside. And I'll put like different segments and see whoever comes first. I'll ask some friends as well, some closer friends, uh, to shoot. So you guys can shoot on your mobile phone. That's okay, as long as 4K quality, hopefully, higher quality is better. Uh, and I'll make that compilation. Everything will be black and white, so I don't have to worry about color grading and matching them all. <laughs> but still, you no know, black and white. Uh, there's still certain toning I need to change. Uh. So let's see how it goes. It'll be a high contrast kind of uh, grading, I guess, a uh, color grading. Anyway, so, woo. so yeah, that's today so far. Trying to create all these things, trying to gather my my shit together, I guess, and get things done, both on the creative front. And I'm still yes, I am still actively looking for a, a maybe part-time job or something to support my this business idea. So yes, I do need cash flow, so I need to maybe find more income, get things going. So this few months of like sabbatical. I mean, I'm thankful for that because it is running through my savings seriously, but I'm too thankful that I have the time to reorganize my thoughts, my life, um, slow things down in a way, uh, because I was like really overworked in the past, uh, since beginning work back in 2005, you know, holding three jobs and then two jobs, and then become one job, and then now no job. Uh, my job now is to keep fit. So, that's why I'm embarking on this journey to start having this habit. So even if, if I do start working, be it part-time, full, full-time or freelance, uh, I will still be exercising every day, I'll still be eating healthy, still be eating one meal a day, hopefully. Uh, you never know. Because when you start a job, sometimes you know you have to in tow, as I say. In the company, you'll be with friends or with a client or something, and then, yeah, but let's see how that goes. I think it's okay, right? I mean, if someone eats and you just drink and just look at them eat and just talk, I think that's fine. I, I'm not bothered. Even if someone's like uh, talking to me over lunch or something and he doesn't want to eat, that's cool. You know, it's about the company, it's about uh, being with the person, talking, discussion, you know, that's more important. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The other day or yesterday when I made the stewed vegetables, this is quite good actually. So cauliflowers and all sorts of veggies. So later on, yes, near midnight. <laughs> yesterday I didn't go actually, so today I'm going. 
to Sing Shiong, uh, supermarket to buy my veggies for these next few days. Uh, yeah, I still have some roots vegetable, but my fresh veggies are like depleting, eggs are depleting, or some other ingredients are depleting, I guess. So I do need to actually buy them so that I can cook in the next few days. Yes, it does take up more, somewhat more time, but if you plan it carefully, you can cook once and then eat it for the next two days. And so you save time in lunch time actually to do prep. And also, you know. Oh, okay. I put some random songs in this playlist. So now it's playing. I'm not sure this Japanese band. I think three girls, I guess. Three ladies. Rio. R E O L. I hope there's no copyright strike. Uh, then this part will be muted. So it's not real. And very interesting. The title of this song Love Laboratory. It's like love and story. And it almost looks like it's laboratory. I don't know. All combined in one word. L U V O R A T O R R R R R 5 R Y. Laboratory. <laughs> so I made a run out of ideas for a song title. <laughs> and then let's just combine words. The, the, the idea of combining words. The, the term for it is portmanteau. Portmanteau. Portmanteau or portmanteau? So it's like you combine one or more words together and form a new word. Interesting, interesting. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hopefully, all those random songs that I added in just now, because it's like recommended song at the end of the playlist, that's recommended song. So I thought, ah, just add, add, add. So there's something fresh. And see how it goes. Because maybe it might have the same tempo that I want. This, you know, working out tempo. So I can keep at least 15 to 17 kilometers per hour. Let's go, let's go! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, this tempo is strong, quite high. Okay, it's not super high, it's still hanging around 16 kilometers per hour. But it's very manageable for me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it slows down. Break down. Break it down. Break it, break it, break it down. Whew. Dance. Dance. Let's go, let's go. High tempo, high tempo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. I hope you guys had a good day. Have you been exercising? Eating healthy? You know, got any diet plan? Share with me. Put it in the comments. Again, thank you for the view. Hello. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the comments and encouragement. Arigato gozaimasu. Kamsa hamida. Kubunkab. Salamat. Terima kasih. Sisiye. Kamsia. Tote. Obrigada. Merci beaucoup. Danke schön. That's about it. I can know. Woo. Yeah, another song from Hyper Potion and Nitro Fun. Title of the song. Checkpoint! Like a game, right? You achieve another level, it's like checkpoint! So if you die, you go back to the checkpoint. Let's go! One, two, three! Oh, okay! <laughs> we went for a break. Go down. Ready to climb up. Three, two, three, two, one, go! Ta -da. Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. Yeah, yeah. Come on, 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 
or electronic music. Hopefully, most are high tempo ones to help in the workout because this is fun exercise. You know, they're having fun exercising. If you listen to great music that push you, right? Yeah, that encourages you. Yeah, I'm perspiring everywhere now, which is fantastic. Only if I start perspiring, then I'm really burning. Burn calories, burn off the weight, improve my muscle, improve my heart rate, improve my heart, my lung capacity as well. On so long, I haven't actually do this. I need to stretch more. Yeah, recently my fingers are a bit more sore, I don't know why. I'm not sure it's because whole day I'm using it on the phone, on the computer, so it's a bit sore. Like morning when I wake up, the joints feels like very cracky, you know? I don't know, I hope it's not rheumatism or something. Let's go, let's go! Let's go! About 20 more minutes. Yes. Oh, that's cool, right? This part of the melody. Makes me want to create another song. Yeah. Well, even the music I create can be fantastic like this. And this guy. I think this was obviously established high proportion. Another guy is Tenkitsune, which I've been mentioning many times, and I support because from Vietnam, you know, like Asian kid, uh, 20 something years old, making a bit been signed in US record and stuff like that. Because we, we don't have really a lot compared to the West in terms of you know electronic music artists. It didn't feel as much now. Maybe yes, in Japan they have their own, uh, but still quite secular. Only a few able to break out but in the west like wow there's so many and they became really like, international and famous and spinning their records everywhere okay let's go let's go yeah hyper potion again Sinothian ML MYLK so many artists involved in this the title of the song Maboroshi I'm not sure what it means M-A-B-O-R-O-S-H-I Maboroshi I don't know Sometimes we should know uh. There's like two cute dogs Holding balloons On the album cover On this song's cover Maboroshi I keep seeing that a lot of them keep releasing like just single I'm just thinking Maybe I should just break up my album And release it as one single, one song at a time over months so people can listen to it uh, if they like it or not but then I did created this album as one whole album my first full album so called six songs so the intro and the outro music uh, more like sketch uh, more like sketch I have like an audio sketch kind of thing going on so that's yeah a bit lame at times alright woo shit you know that this is a fast song yeah first time hearing this song actually one of the ones that I uh, recommended by, by Spotify and I randomly added in. Woo! No joke, no joke. Let's go, let's go. Wow, 20, 21 kilometers per hour. Hyper Potion has the signature music that part. It goes, hiya! That's the signature sound for Hyper Potion. Hello, thanks for being. Thanks for the like. Thanks for the love, thanks for the support. Thank you, the more you can talk us. Come to Harida. See you here. Thank you. 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 Thank Yes, about 15, 15 minutes to go. Let's do it. 
probably about three to four more songs. Okay, this tempo is pretty manageable. Thanks for the ride. Thank you, thank you. See you soon. Arigato. Kamsa, kamsa hamida. I need to find how to say it in Tamil. I need a banana gum. I look like a drinking banana gum, but what's thank you in, in Tamil or Hindi or Hindi or something? Woo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, he's very fast. See. Am I speaking now? Hopefully, you can keep up this tempo. Be fast. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, no joke. This song is fun, but quite deadly fast. Whoa. Sucking like 23, 24 kilometers per hour. That's pretty high for me. Let's go, let's go. Whew. Oh my god. Killer, killer song. Oh, the next one. It's not so fast. Ayoban and Nagyuta. 0 a.m. 0. The song title. 0 a.m. featuring Nayuta. The artist is called Ayoban. Not sure what it means, but Ban sounds like highway in Germany. A I O B A H N. Ayoban. Maybe it's AI? Artificial Intelligence O Ba <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Thank you, whoever's viewing now. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments, thanks for the encouragement. Hope I in turn encourage you guys to stay healthy and eat, eat healthy, stay fit as well. Keep exercising every day, man. So, so far, I've been doing this for the past 78 days. Uh, now, cycling at 50 minutes a session. And the part I started at 15 minutes, 1 5. And then slowly I increased 20, 30, 40, 45 minutes, and now. 15 minutes. Ooh, nice. Nice melody, eh? I like that. Is that Japanese drum? Or is it a Japanese drum can sound? It's quite cool. Like Japanese inspired music or those kind of game music, gaming music. Uh, it always has very cool melodies, the progression. Uh, it's, it's aspire to create more electronic music like that. So let's see how it goes. I love when how they break it down and change out the tempo or change out the melody within the song. So it's very interesting. Yeah, I just feel this because of my diet. <laughs> Been eating a little bit too much curry or uh, keto, not very keto friendly when I eat, add a bit too much of the bread and stuff. So, uh, although it's keto friendly, again, too much of a good thing is not good because I'm still experimenting. So, after it's cooked, I still eat a bit. So, I nibble here and there. Uh, so, I think my weight these few days is still a bit, uh, a bit level. You know, could go down more. Tomorrow is my birthday, so actually, originally I was thinking, oh, at the rate that I'm losing weight, I thought, oh, maybe my birthday, I can be under 100 kg, and that'll be the first time after wow, 20 years. I've been never under 100 kg since 20 years ago, uh, within the last 20 years, uh, because my weight just keep increasing, 100, 100 plus. Two years ago, my maximum was 126 kilograms, 126. No joke. Getting too heavy for my height 
and it's not healthy also and like I said, I got spine problem. So it actually affects it directly. So I have no choice. I do like the big size, seriously. Of um, big or fat, doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter for me, but still it's affecting my spine and it's painful. So no joke, I do have to lose the weight to uh, alleviate the pain on my on my back. Okay, okay. About 10 minutes left. Alright. One of my favorite songs. Thanks again for the likes. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Kamsa hamida. Shishie. Darimakase. Kamsia. Kotze. Dankeschön. Obrigada. Kupun kap. Salamat. Merci beaucoup. So this song by High Proportion and Subtact. I think you guys may know this song by now. Adventures. Just like, you know, you think about exercising, it's like an adventure in your life. Yeah, you keep it fun, you know. Ooh. Okay, so I'm still keeping at about 16 to 17 kilometers per hour after the song just now. Oh my god. So fast, so high tempo. I mean the two songs are low. Right, that song. Whew. The Lover Tori, I think. It's called Lover Tori or something. Let's go. Come back there, come back there. Otsukare, otsukare sama. I hope you guys had a great day. Or oh, productive at work. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> Who knows? But hopefully, yeah, you guys had a great day. Uh, good evening now that you're resting. Hopefully, not snacky. If you are, hopefully please snack healthy snacks. Like for me, I'll be eating, uh, I'll be snacking walnuts, almonds, uh, some raisins. But yeah, I know some of the raisins. I mean, raisins itself is quite a lot of sugar, so be careful. <laughs> Don't snack too much on sugar stuff. I did cut off as much carbs as I can. Although, yes, the veggies and the roots veggie, there's still carbs. Uh, I mean, there's still a certain amount of carbs. I try to eat the low, low carb version. And. So it's possible no gluten. But then interestingly, past two, three days, we have fried chicken and it has gluten inside because the flour, ha chong kai, uh, prawn paste flour uh, that I use to fry the chicken. Yeah, the flour I realized is wheat. So wheat naturally has gluten. So yeah. So maybe that explains why my weight these past few days I've been eating, yeah, not very keto. So it's been like going up and down, up and down, but almost constant. So it didn't like plunge further down. Which technically speaking, this week onwards, I should expect to go down. But there is a possibility. My theory is that um, I may have reached so-called the peak. So I may have to do something else or do something more drastic or exercise even more or something else. Uh, different to, to burn further. So we shall see. Anyway, uh, this is next week. Next week, yeah, I'll be re meet, uh, meeting my dietitian again, my doctor, and see what the doctor says. Let's see. All right, Darren Ashley from Malaysia. This song, Malaysia. Darren Ashley, I think he's a mix. I can't, I can't, I'm not very sure, but he's, he feels like a Eurasian to me. Could be Malay mix group, a uh, uh, Eurasian. That's like Ashley, right? I don't think that's the real name lah. So Darren actually, this song is called Far Out. Far Out. And the album cover is quite cute. It has a little game character, like 8 bit character. Red hair, I think it's him because he has red hair. Darren actually, actually keeps changing his hair. It's a hair color, pretty cool. And then the background is a huge giant moon. <laughs> so this character standing from the moon. Title Far Out with an exclamation mark. Far out, yeah. <laughs> I like his songs because his song always very like there's a mix of very cool grooves, uh, with strong beat, and has his trademark um, high echo shouts and screams. <laughs> I thought it's quite cool, and he sings quite well. I think it's, even when he speaks, you know, he just speaks quite eloquently. Uh, this English is quite good. Uh, the accent is quite good. Darren actually. 
Okay, about five minutes left. Probably one or two more songs. So let's go, let's go. Day 78. I can do it. Woo. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hello, thanks for view. Thanks for the likes. Thank you, Dumari Kato Kajamas. Kasa Hunida. Sisye. Tarima Kasi. Kamsia. Tote, tote. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, there's a lot of effects. Excuse me. Again, the music also break down the uh, tempo and then cuts in with a different melody or a different part, a different bridge to the song. It's very cool. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Kapade, kapade! There you go, that echo part, very trademark of this music. So we do that high echo, echo, high pitch kind of sound. I was doing that also in my effects, in my garage band. So some of the ending words, I want like super echo and then fade away. Separate out as different track. It's not that advanced. It says be a separate track, and then that track you apply the echo, and you affect the whole, whole, whole track there. But that's okay. It's going to manage. So typical, my song has like over, I guess eight to ten tracks or more. But I know like in full music production, easily you can hit fifty tracks or more. So that depends how extensive. You actually edit and remix and you know stuff like that. You might copy paste different parts of the songs, you know, that you like. And yeah. Okay, two more minutes, I guess it's two or three more minutes, and this is one last song. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. It's a bass. The sign. I think that happened the other night, I think. This is like the last song. Maybe Spotify again, it's already listening to me. Whenever I say something, they're like, okay, the guy says last song. Let's play his favorite last song. The sign. Praise of Base. Yeah, blast from the past. Something in the 90s. And like I did say this many times. This song, we danced to it when we were in JC, junior college, like 1997, 1998. So we are dancing to this song in our orientation camp. I think 1997, yeah, that's the year that. I entered junior college. Yeah. Pardon my falsetto voice, that is terrible. 
It doesn't sound fantastic. Eh? That's my low, low voice, just to match the song. <laughs> I know it's terrible. <laughs> so. All right. So if you see the sign, you do something about it. Maybe this sign, this song is actually telling me something. Also, <laughs> to see the sign. The sign being that, yay! It's only 15 minutes into my fastest size and I'm done for the day. I'm just cooling down to this song. No one's gonna give you up to the life that you belong. The sign is so the sign. Okay, that's it. My eyes, I saw the sign. So the sign says, I'm done for tonight. Time to rest and get ready to go grocery shopping. Whoa. Hanabi fireworks. It is a very fast song. No way we're going to cycle to this now. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for viewing. Eat well, rest well. Uh, stay fit, okay? Take care of yourself. That's it for tonight. Oya Suminasai. Selamat malam. Anio kaseyo. Okay, bye bye. Wan Tajia. Bye. Oops. Whoop.